This is where you got to be careful. You know, six years ago, a French study found that having higher levels of vitamin B6 appears to reduce lung cancer risk. But having naturally higher levels is not the same as saying that taking lots of B6 or the popular energy vitamin B12 is protective. In fact, it may be harmful. In a study that followed more than 77,000 people for more than a decade, researchers noticed a troubling trend when it comes to one of the most popular vitamin supplements on the market. What we found was that uh, men who had used dietary supplements, uh, in particular B6 and also vitamin B12, uh, were at significant increased risk of developing lung cancer. Surprisingly, there was no risk found in women. But in men, those who took high doses of these B vitamins for up to 10 years had approximately double the risk of developing lung cancer. In men who smoked, the risk was three to four times greater, depending on which of the two B vitamins they were taking. This study looked at both men and women who took high doses for 10 years. A high dose of B6 is considered 20 milligrams, but supplements come in doses of up to 500 milligrams. A high dose of B12 is considered to be 55 micrograms. But B12 supplements come in doses of up to 5,000 micrograms. So these are super physiological doses that are not necessary for, for your health. Researchers at the James Cancer Hospital and Solov Research Institute say it's easy to get plenty of B vitamins from diet. Foods like cereals are fortified with them, and some energy drinks have 8,000% of the recommended daily allowance of B12. I don't think there's a, there's a clear scientific backing for an, a, a, a healthful need for these supplements at those doses. Although there is now evidence of just how much harm long-term mega supplementation with B6 and B12 can do for male smokers. Now those high doses in energy drinks aren't quite as concerning as supplements since you likely wouldn't drink those every day for years the way the men in the study had taken supplements. Again, the danger is from long-term, very high dose B vitamin supplements, not from the diet or from a daily multivitamin. So. Again, if a little bit is good, a lot is not necessarily exactly. better. Exactly. Thank you, Dr. Okay, Max. You bet.